Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a ballet lesson. Just for future reference, I don't usually talk like this. I'm just talking like it because everyone says that I'm good at it. But I'm just trying to show off. Just kidding. Anyways, hi, it's Dancer4800 and today I got a request to do um, what I do for ballet. Like, what do I wear? How do I do my hair? Like, what do I learn? Like, tips. So yeah. Um, I'll give you some tips. Hi everyone, don't mind me in the mirror. Um, <coughs> it's my only like full body size mirror, so like when I go to school and like jump up on my bed. Yeah, it's a good outfit. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is what you wear for ballet. You wear a simple thin strap leotard, but if it's cold where you live, you might want to get like a shorter sleeved or like a long sleeved leotard. But make sure it's not like one of those cut ones right here. You want it to go up. Um, um, you also have pink tights. Don't make them too pink because they're more closer to white than pink. And you have ballet shoes. I don't have my ballet shoes right now because um, they're in the wash because I just had a competition. So yeah, and you're supposed to have your hair in a bun. Just a simple bun. It could be any type of bun as long as it's not messy or crazy. So yeah. Before dance, you might want to practice your tondus. And when you're done practicing your tondus, you may want to practice your point. Your point is the most important thing of ballet. Your point, your ballet teachers will love. Like if you have a good point, you can go on point. Those dancers that are like that. So yeah point is the most important so make sure you stretch your feet every day like even when you're in school under your desk you can go like this everybody a good tip is eating right the best food you can eat is fruit but the best fruit you can eat before ballet class is blueberries also known as brain berries it um, helps you remember things and I love them mmm and other things good to eat are vegetables, of course, and meat, and bread, so you get full. So a good meal would probably be like a handful of blueberries with some cucumbers and um, a turkey stick or like no fried, not fried chicken, just like turkey, not chicken, and um, some bread, like French bread and some nice like 100% juice full with like vitamin C like this one is 120% vitamin C so yep that's a good meal for before you go to dance or after you get back from dance I almost forgot to tell you the number one rule always listen to your instructor or teacher they're just trying to help you get better even yelling is the best thing they can do because they're making you work harder and they're making you become a better dancer. So just listen to them and you'll become a great dancer. I promise that. Mmm. I love blueberries. And also this. Don't forget to bring a water bottle. And this is an interesting fact. And it's better to bring warm water than cold water because the cold water makes your muscles like like ah oh, cool down I'm gonna shut down right now to make the muscles like less like less working and warm water makes them feel like make them work harder because they're already warm like if your dance teacher already said go warm yourself up that means do like jumping jacks and stuff and that means your your muscles are getting warm and if you add cold water they get cold so you have to warm that back up again so be careful, and I think bringing warm water is better, but cold water quenches your thirst better. So you can choose. Um, warm water um, helps you become more flexible and stuff, but um, cold water gets you refreshed and like hydrated. So I think they should. Inv I think you should bring two water bottles. I'm just kidding. Don't bring two water bottles. Also, this is something everyone should do, even if you're not a dancer. You should drink a lot of water, at least eight of these a day. 
helps you stay hydrated and it helps you have good skin and it makes you um, get all the bad stuff out when you sweat. So drink a lot of water and I promise you'll do good and you won't get sick as often because if you're like running and you had drink a lot of water and if you had like a sickness, all the sickness would sweat out so you'd feel better and you would do better. So yeah. These are bloopers during the f making. I hope you find these comments useful. What? Comments useful? What? I ate way too many blueberries. Oh my gosh, it's recording.